In this video, I will show you how you can protect the SMAE charger from unauthorized access. This can be useful if the wallbox is installed in a location that is accessible to strangers. By default, no authorization of charging processes is required. This means that after an electric vehicle is plugged in, the SMAE charger automatically starts the charging process in the selected charging mode. When going through the commissioning wizard, or later on the user interface of the charging station, under Configuration, Access Management, you have the option of activating the charging release for the device. After activation, the charging station is locked and each charging process must be enabled either via the SMA Energy app, an RFID card, or the parameters on the user interface. The release is valid for the active charging process, in other words, until the vehicle is unplugged. If a vehicle is reconnected to the SMA charging station, the charging station is blocked again and a charging release is required. To register RFID cards, such as the two RFID charging cards included in the scope of delivery, on the SMA e-charger, click on Add Card. You now have the choice between manually entering the UID of the RFID card to be registered or automatic registration via local scanning at the charging station. The card-specific UID can be found on the card carrier in the case of the SMA RFID cards included in the scope of delivery. Alternatively, the UID of the RFID card can be read via a corresponding app with a smartphone. Enter the combination of letters and numbers and confirm your entry by clicking on Apply. Assign an individual card name and the RFID card will appear in the Access Management under Registered RFID Cards. Alternatively, RFID cards can also be taught via local scanning on the device. To do this, start the scanning process. The charging station indicates the active registration process with a slowly flashing yellow status LED. You now have two minutes to hold the RFID card to be registered in front of the RFID card reader. This is located in the upper third of the charging station at the height of the SMA logo. The RFID card is now automatically recognized by the device. In the next step, assigning an individual card name and the RFID card can be used to release charging processes. If the charging release function has been activated on the SMAE charger and an electric vehicle is connected to the charging station, the yellow status LED and the display indicate to the user that the charging station is locked. The charging process can now be enabled locally on the device using the previously registered RFID card. The charging station acknowledges the successful activation and starts the charging process in the selected charging mode. If the charging release fails because the RFID card used was not previously registered on the device, a corresponding error message is displayed. The charging station remains locked. The vehicle will not be charged. Alternatively, charging can be enabled remotely via the SMA Energy app. In this case, the e-mobility tab in the SMA Energy app shows that the charging station is locked. By swiping from left to right, the charging process is activated by the user and nothing further prevents a successful charging process. I hope this video was able to answer your questions related to releasing charging processes on the SMAE charger. If you need further assistance, check out more tech tips on our channel or comment your question below this video. Do you Always want to see the latest tech tips on SMA products? Then subscribe to our channel.